Welcome back everyone to the TDA YouTube channel, the Declarative Academy. It's great to have you here. Today, we're diving into an essential Salesforce topic, controlling what your users can access. Whether you're an admin, a business analyst, or someone getting started with Salesforce, understanding data access is critical. By the end of this session, you'll know how to create permission sets and permission set groups and how to configure organization-wide defaults to ensure that your users see only what they need to see. We'll also walk through a hands-on challenge, so be sure to follow along. Here's what we're covering today. The different levels of controlling data access in Salesforce. How to create permission sets and permission set groups. Configuring organization-wide defaults. We'll start by looking at how Salesforce structures data security from the organization level down to individual records. Let's break it down. We will explain this in six parts. These include part one, levels of data access. Part two, creating a permission set. Part three, creating a permission set group. Part four, muting a permission in a set group. Part five, assigning the permission set group to users. And lastly, part six, configuring organization-wide defaults. Let's dive into part one, levels of data access. Salesforce allows you to control data access at four main levels. Organization level. This is about who gets access to your Salesforce org as a whole. Object level. This controls which groups of users can access certain objects like accounts or opportunities. Field level. Even if users have access to an object, we can limit the visibility of specific fields. Record level. This is the most precise level of control, allowing you to manage who can see or edit individual records. Next part two, creating a permission set. All right, let's jump into our first task, creating a permission set. This will let us grant users access to certain objects or features without having to change their profile. Let's head into Salesforce Setup. First, go to Setup by clicking on the gear icon located at the top right corner of the screen. Then select Setup from the drop-down menu. Next, in the Quick Find box, type Permission Sets and select it from the list of search results. Finally, to create a new permission set, click on the New button. To create the permission set, follow these steps. Enter account access in the label field. The API name account access will be automatically generated. Leave the license field as none. Provide a description that explains the purpose of the permission set. For example, this permission set grants sales representatives access to account related permissions. Then click on the save button to save the permission set. Awesome, we've created our permission set. Next, we're going to add object and field permissions for accounts. To edit object permissions, go to the permission sets detail page and scroll down to object settings. Look for account and click on it or use the find settings search bar to locate it. Then click on edit to enable object permissions. Check the boxes to grant this permission set the necessary abilities to read, create, edit, delete, and also view all and modify all for the account object. Click Save. To configure field permissions for the account object, follow these steps. Navigate to Field Permissions. Ensure that Read Access and Edit Access are enabled for all fields. Then click Save to apply the changes. That's it for the permission set. But wait, we're not done yet. Rather than assigning this permission set directly to users, will create a permission set group to make things even more manageable. Let's move on. Next, part three, creating a permission set group. To create a permission set group, first, go to setup and in the quick find box, type permission set groups and select it. Then click on new permission set group to create a new one. For the label, please enter sales user. 
the API name will be auto-populated as sales user. Please add a description that effectively describes the group, for example, group for sales reps with account access. After adding the description, click Save. Next, add permission sets. On the permission set grouped page, click permission sets in group. Then click add permission set, select account access and click add. Finally, click done. Great, we've grouped our permission sets. Now let's get more precise with muting permissions. This will allow us to mute certain permissions for specific users. Moving on to part four, muting a permission in a set group. To mute a permission in a set group, access the permission set group page and select muting permission set in group. Click new, maintain the default name and then save your changes. To modify muted permissions, simply click on the name of the muting permission set. Navigate to the object settings, access the account object and click edit. Check the boxes under the muted column to mute delete view all and modify all for account object permissions. Scroll down to the field permissions for annual revenue and customer priority fields. Mute edit access for these fields, then click save. In part five, we look into assigning the permission set group to users. To assign the group to users, head back to the permission set group overview page and click manage assignments. Click Add Assignments and select the users you created in the previous unit. Click Next, then Assign. Optional Expiration. You can set an expiration date for this assignment if needed, but we'll leave it empty for now. Lastly, Part 6, which is configuring organization-wide defaults. Here, we're setting organization-wide sharing defaults to control access to records. To access the sharing settings, First navigate to Setup and then type Sharing Settings into the Quick Find box and select it from the search results. Next, to edit the organization-wide defaults, locate the organization-wide default section and click the Edit button. Set the access level for account and contract to public read only. For opportunity, make sure to set the access level to private so that only record owners and users higher in the role hierarchy can view opportunities. After making these selections, click on the Save button. That's it for setting organization-wide defaults. By now, your users have controlled access to objects and records, thanks to permission sets, permission set groups, and the organization-wide defaults we've just set up. Now, it's time to test what we've learned with the hands-on challenge. I'll walk you through each step. So open your Salesforce playground and follow along with me. First, we're going to create a permission set. Navigate to permission sets from the setup menu. Next, click on new to create a new permission set. Label the permission set as account access and utilize the default API name. Leave the license field as a none and proceed to click on save. In the permission set, Click Object Settings, Find Account, and edit the object permissions to Read, Create, Edit, Delete, View All, and Modify All. Edit the field permissions to give Read Access and Edit Access to all fields. Save your changes. Next, we will create a permission set group. To create a new permission set group, begin by navigating to the Setup menu and selecting Permission Set Groups. Once there, Proceed to create a new group and label it as sales user. Afterwards, add the account access permission set to this group. Finally, ensure to mute any unnecessary permissions for the sales user group. Create a muting permission set in the group labeled sales user muted. Mute the delete, view all, and modify all permissions for the account object. Mute edit access for annual revenue and customer priority fields. Assign the permission set group to users. Assign the sales user group to the user you created in the previous unit. Additionally, ensure that you set the organization wide defaults as follows. For account and contract, set them to public read only, 
and for opportunity, set it to private. Once you complete these steps, click check challenge on Trailhead. You should see that success message pop up. Yeah, more points for you. That wraps up today's video on controlling user access in Salesforce. You've learned about permission sets, permission set groups, and organization-wide sharing settings. Thanks for following along. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you won't miss the next one. Remember, at the Declarative Academy, we declare it and we get it. See you in the next video.